These math lessons are dedicated to my great uncle Perry Hubbard, who was born in 1902. Math might not be your favorite subject, but it can help us all stay alive. Well, old Perry Hubbard was our grandmother's brother. They went down to the pond one hot muggy summer. Just wanted to cool off, was a little too shallow. Oh, how we wish we could let him know. Don't die, Perry, the slope isn't right. Be careful, Perry, that pond bottom's dark as night. Perry dove in headfirst and suffered a serious injury. All attempts to save him failed. Perry was 18 years old. His family was devastated. Don't die, Perry, the slope isn't right. Be careful, Perry, oh Perry, we miss you every single night. Perry, we miss you every single night. Thousands of kids and adults have died or been paralyzed by diving in unsafe situations or in horseplay. Remember Perry and think twice before you dive in. Perry probably knew slope is the measure of the steepness of a line, but when it's a scorching hot summer day, we don't always think clearly before we dive into a nice, cool pond. In math, there are three types of slope you can encounter. A slope can be positive, negative, or equal to zero. When the slope is equal to zero, it is horizontal or flat. Slope equals rise over run. The top part of the fraction, the numerator, represents how much you rise or don't rise, and the bottom part, the denominator, stands for how far you run or move sideways. At the pond Perry dove into, you can see that the slope equals one-third. Rise one, run three. You'll notice the opposite bank of the pond has a negative slope. Negative one-third, rise negative one, run three. To find the degrees of a one-third slope, you divide one by three to get 0.33. You then press second, tan, on your calculator, then enter 0.33 and press enter again to see that the one-third slope equals 18 degrees. If the pond had a four-fifths slope, it would have been much safer for Perry to dive into. A four-fifths slope equals 0.80. Press second, tan, then enter 0.80 to see that a four-fifths slope equals 38 degrees. It is essential we understand how portions of whole numbers, fractions, and decimals work. Here's April. Some people like their numbers whole. I hear you, baby, but there's so much more. When you hear numerator, think North Pole. When you hear denominator, think deep down in a hole. Denominator is a total number of pizza slices. Numerator is the number you're teeth pulverizes if you have a 10 slice pizza but you're not that hungry say hey big mama make it two slices or maybe three and if you're practically starving say hey big daddy make it five out of ten did you notice that five tenths is the same as one half that's called reducing or simplifying a fraction. One half is a lot easier or simpler to picture in your mind than five tenths. Once you understand that fractions, decimals, and percents are all saying the same thing, you are ready to roll. Yeah, even as a kid, I loved to divide my green peas. I'd say, uh, hey little brother, looky here. Actually, it was more like, please eat my peas. Teacher told me to learn my fractions That's where you find all the action Here's a little hint 
one fourth is point twenty five or twenty five percent. One half is point five zero or fifty percent. Yeah, notice a pattern. Here's a hint. The fraction bar means divide the bottom into the top and let it ride. The fraction bar means divide the bottom into the top and let it ride. What do you mean, let it ride? I mean, fractions are going to happen regardless. I say, bring it on, fraction. And all you one thirds, you might want to find a two thirds and make a hole, or be on the next bus out of town. First bus out of town. <laughs> Just kidding. When it comes to percents, try some relaxation. Yeah, you know, we were all born a fraction Just a fraction of what's to come Weigh about nine pounds on day one After so many trips later Around that sun Just divide nine by what you now weigh So if it was 128, don't worry now, you don't have to say. But if it was, that would be 9 divided by 128, which would be 0.07, or 7 one-hundredths, or 7% 7 of your current weight. Yeah, you know, we were all born a fraction. Not only of our size, but also of our actions. It's not too easy for a newborn baby to help a lady or help a lost, broken down, tattered, and torn. No, not even maybe. But as you eat your veggies, get a little taller. You know you can. Make a difference, be a part of the solution all across this land. So ride high in that saddle, second to none. Yeah, it's time to shine, time to tame that fraction dragon. Yeah, you know we were all born a fraction. Next time we'll talk about how to get subtracting. Decibels and fractions So won't you please, please Join us for the action Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, all the action Hey, I see you over there, you little fraction <laughs>